What was your shortest first date? Story 1. The date lasted about 45 minutes. I ordered a beer and she inadvertently said to the waitress, No alcohol for me, I'm pregnant. My jaw dropped and she turned red when she realized what had happened. I was the first person to find out about it, and she hadn't told her ex-boyfriend yet. I broke the tension and said, Well, since we are here, we may as well eat. Dinner was awkward, and we both knew there wouldn't be a second date. Story 2. Went for coffee with a woman I met on a dating site. I, the date after about 45 minutes because she didn't stop talking the entire time. Like she didn't even pause between sentences. At one point, she asked me a question, and after I said about three words, she interrupted me and kept going. It got to the point where I was zoning out, and the words she was saying lost meaning and just became noise. Pulled a G, look at the time, and nope the fudge out. Story 3. I met this guy online. We talked back and forth and decided to meet up. He lived about an hour and a half away from me, but insisted on driving down. We arrange a time and a place, so I show up and he isn't there yet. So I text him and see if he's going to be late. Traffic is a thing, and it can be hard to predict on the highway between our two cities. And I wait. Ten minutes goes by and he texts back, just leaving my place now. What? So I tell him not to bother, I am out of there. No way am I sitting in this coffee shop for an hour and a half. He tells me he had to go to the doctor's this morning, and that is why he is going to be late. He is just so confused about why I am unwilling to still meet up. Apparently, he could not understand that he knew at least an hour and a half ago that there was no way, no way he was getting to my city on time and could have told me. Maybe if he did, we could have arranged a new time, but nope just left me waiting. So I leave. This guy drives down anyways and proceeds to blow up my phone trying to get me to come meet him. He stays in the parking lot of this coffee shop all day, waiting for me to change my mind. Bonus points. This guy recently tried to get back in touch with me. I tell him I'm married with a kid on the way, and he is like, so what? I so dodged a bullet that day. Story 4. We both worked in television, albeit for different broadcasters. We met at some sort of convention or other and agreed to have drinks the next night. She had her Blackberry out, this was the mid zero zero IS, the whole time and kept checking her emails. When she wasn't checking her precious emails, she was obnoxiously teasing me about how her TV network had higher ratings than mine. I didn't care. She also asked the hash one question to guarantee I wouldn't ask for a second date. What do you drive? I answered a bike. We lived in a huge city. I was single at the time. Why the hell would I need a car? She didn't like my answer. We had just finished our first drink, and I was about to order us another round when she said, You smile too much. Smiling causes wrinkles. I immediately pulled an audible with the server and asked for the bill. I paid for our drinks, thanked her for the night explained that there was no way in hell that we would ever be compatible as a couple, and left. Story 5. She looked nothing like her profile pic, about 100 pounds heavier, had makeup on, that looked like it had been applied via shotgun, and I don't think she'd showered since Bill Clinton was still president, and this was 2014. She got up to go to the bathroom about 10 minutes into the date, and I texted my friend, Can you call me in, like, five minutes? Just play along with whatever I say. I'll explain later. And that's how I got... Called into work, sorry, I need to early. Story 6. Not my date, but a good buddy's. I called him to see if he wanted to catch a movie. He told me he was just about to meet a date for drinks, so he was going to pass. Five minutes later, he calls and asks if I was still going to catch the movie. He explained the date lasted three minutes. Here is his accounting. I walked into the bar and she looked nothing like her profile, a true Star Wars pick, taken a long time ago, far, far away. He sat down, ordered her another drink, and one for himself. She notices he is wearing a silver ring on his right hand and remarks, Only players wear silver jewelry, and then asks what he does for work. He's an artist, graphic designer, to which she replies, Aren't they all boy? But he says this isn't going to work out. She states loudly, You don't like my personality? His reply, I don't think you have one. And then she walked out the door shouting, That's the rudest thing ever said to me. Date is over before his beer hit the bar. Story 7. Oh, high school, senior year? I was crossing the street to greet her, both smiling at each other, cold, windy night downtown. Some guy in one of those little cars whose name I forget, Ford Fiesta maybe, runs a red light, at thankfully very low speed, and brakes just as he hits me. Still, it's hard enough to roll me up into his windshield and bang my head. Instead of eating some cheesecake factory and seeing a movie, I was off to the emergency room down the street. She at least gave me a ride, but left me to take the bus home later. We still joke about that night sometimes. She's one of my best friend's wife now. Story 8. I don't remember how exactly it came to be, but when I was in my early 20s, I had a blind date with this chick. I picked her up. She was cute, and initially we wanted to go to the movies. 
I had to pick up something at a buddy's place first, so we took a reroute. On the way, she pulled out one of two vodka bottles. When we arrived at my buddy's place, she was already drunk. She passed out on his couch, and my buddy and I spent the night drinking her vodka and playing FFV Eind. Story 9. After I got divorced and finally went on one of my first dates, Match, the girl I met up with picked the place. It was a bit upscale, but not obnoxious. And before we ordered, she told me emphatically that because it was such a treat for me to take her out for dinner, I was going to pay. I looked at her and sighed because I realized that she wasn't trying to be funny. Then I got up and left before we even ordered drinks. Honestly, I do pretty flipping well for myself financially, and if she hadn't started the date like that, there was a 100% chance that I'd have picked up the tab. Fudge the gold diggers. Story 10. Met a guy, a guy online. He wasn't my normal type, but we had a mutual good friend, so I figured I'd give it a... I went to meet him at a bar, and when I arrive, he's sitting cross-legged W slash his shoes off on a sofa right by the door. He doesn't get up to shake my hand, hug me, or anything. I get a beer and sit down beside him. He asks me why my ex and I broke up before I even have an opportunity to respond. He says, it's cause his banana wasn't big enough. Wasn't it? FYI, not why we split. I don't respond and start chugging my beer. I look at my non-watch-wearing wrist and say, wow, it's getting late. He proceeds to pat me on my head and tell me that I'll be fine. At this point, I stand up, finish my beer, and tell him that I would say it was nice to meet you. But that would be a lie, and I left. I was back in my car, according to the clock, in 12 minutes. Edit, fixed my typos. Story 11, about 90 seconds. There was a guy who I met while hiking, and since we were both heading into town for a zero day, we decided to walk into town together. We rolled into town, and I already had a hotel room reserved, so I started to walk away. He asked if he could take me out to get a bite to eat that evening. He'd been pleasant, and most hikers end up making friends on trail, so I was down for dinner. I arrive at the dinner spot, and I overhear him on his cell phone, just friggin' screaming at someone on the other end. He's calling her a bad person, saying she deserves to be assaulted, like 90 seconds worth of pure, vile, unmentionable stuff. I was frozen in shock. He hangs up, turns around and sees me, and breaks into the biggest cow-eating grin and starts walking toward me, at which point I was like, yep, I'm good. I've seen enough. This dinner isn't happening. He called me a bad person as I walked away and said women were all alike. I was so afraid of seeing this guy on the trail again. I walked right back to my room, grabbed my cow, and went back on trail to get a day's jump on the dude. Story 12. Met this guy on Tinder. We'd been chatting for several weeks, but both had busy schedules, so it was difficult to arrange. Finally, after many postponements, we settled on a time and place in the city. I got there first, so I just ordered a coffee. He arrived a few minutes late and didn't order anything. I thought that was a bit weird, but oh well. We chatted for a while and really seemed to hit it off. Then after only 15, 20 minutes, he's like, oh, I gotta go back to work. See you later. And hash X200B, he met up with me on his lunch break. Story 13. This was in the early-ish days of the internet. Dude didn't have a picture BC. He claimed he had no way of posting one or sending me one via email. I guess I was desperate enough to meet him for a beer. Dude said he was in his 30s, showed up, and was at least 55. I drank my beer as fast as possible, like under five minutes, then said I had to go. I got in my car and waited for him to drive away, then went back in and sat at the bar. The bartender witnessed the whole thing and gave me a drink on the house. There was a group of guys a few seats down who wound up overhearing and invited me to join them. Found out they were in a local band I've liked over the years. Had a great time hanging out with them. Never talked to the old dude again. Story 14. I want to say around 15 minutes. I was making dinner and invited this guy over to Netflix and chill. I'm a pretty good cook, so I said he was welcome to eat too, which he was really excited about. He gets there and we talk about work while the food is in the oven and he goes, I left my phone in my car BRB and just left. He blocked my number too because I tried to call him and it went straight to VM. Story 15. About 30 seconds. Girl in college and I had been talking for a bit, just about school cow usually, but I asked if she'd want to get together sometime outside of school. She said she'd love to. We agreed to meet at a bar near campus in the afternoon, 3 p.m. I order a beer, she freaks out. Says I shouldn't be drinking this early in the day. It's one of the signs of alcoholism, and I need to get help. I'm figuring she had a bad family experience with alcoholism that got triggered, but I don't see any problem with having a beer at lunch, especially a late lunch. Oh well. Story 16. Had mutual friends and were messaging each other on MySpace for a bit. Seemed to vibe and have cool conversations, so I got around to asking her on a date. Picked her up to go to the movies. The drive there was kind of awkward. I'll admit I used to be pretty timid back then. 
She wasn't so socially adept either, and it was just uncomfortable. I figured things would smooth over when we got to the movie. We buy tickets, and before we walk in the theater, she gets a text and starts freaking out about her friend having a medical emergency and wants me to take her back home. She was being over-the-top hysterical. Seemed really off, like it was a Hail Mary attempt to get out of a date. But I just shrugged and took her back home. I texted her a couple hours later, and she didn't reply. Oh well, I let it go. Realized a few days later she wasn't on my friends list anymore. Weird! You could have just told me you weren't feeling it after we watched the movie. What are my losses? And I probably would have agreed with you. Story 17. In downtown Chicago, at a Starbucks outside the museum we were going to see, five minutes she realized her purse was missing. Someone had stolen it while we were waiting for our drinks. Her mom's credit card was in there. We were both just starting college. So she was understandably a bit of a mess and dipped immediately. Pretty good second date, though, so the rest of that summer was pretty sweet. Story 18. I met her on the street, and within about literally 30 seconds, she seemed extremely uncomfortable and wanted to get away from me. She ended up just randomly hailing a cab and leaving. It was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. I didn't touch her or say anything lewd. I can't figure out why she would act this way. She already knew what I looked like. Edit. I met up with her on the street for the first time, like a first date. We were talking online for a while and Snapchatting, which is why she knew what I looked like. Story 19. She showed up drunk for our first and only date. Not like, oh, I had a drink after work and came to meet you drunk. Sloppy slurring drunk. From the moment she got out of her car, yup, she drove. We obviously met at a bar. The bartender served me, then refused to serve her. This is where things got silly. She went on a screaming not only at the bartender, but a screaming at the other people in the bar rant about how she wasn't being served because she was, and they're all etc. etc. It couldn't have been at all because she could barely speak, let alone stand. Bartender called the police. I announced that it was a Tinder date, the first and last, and that I was sorry. I had every intention of buying everyone's drinks and leaving. But no, they all bought me drinks and we all laughed and had a good few hours. And no, that isn't how I met your mother. That's the longest five minutes of a date I've ever been on. Story 20. My shortest date was approximately 30 seconds. The backstory is that I grew up in small town Idaho. And when I was in high school, we would usually get together with friends and drive around in the nearest bigger city approximately 30 minutes away. Park in various lots and chat with new people. Hang out, hook up, get into trouble, the usual. But one night I got into it with this snooty girl who thought she was better than everyone, could do whatever she wanted, treat people like cow and think it was fine. So I told her to fudge off and go hang out somewhere else. She got pissed and slapped me. I got pissed and left. So a couple weeks later, my best friend started dating some girl and asked me to go with him on a double date. I said sure and went to meet him at one of the local movie theaters. I walked up to his car. They all got out. He started introducing my date, and it was the same girl that slapped me. I said, oh, fudge no. Turned around, got in my car, and went home. Story 21. Talked with a cute girl on Tinder, and we had awesome chemistry while chatting. The day we decided to meet, I had so much heavy stuff to do at work and was totally exhausted when I got home at 4.30 p.m. We had our date at 8 p.m., so I figured I could get some rest before the date. Fell deeply asleep and didn't wake up until 9.30, just in time for me to see her sending an angry message to me about ghosting on her before she unmatched me so I couldn't reply in time. I felt so bad and it was totally an accident, but I guess some things aren't really meant to happen. Story 22. Met a girl through mutual friends. A week goes by after talking, texting, before we meet up Saturday night to go on a date. She asked if we could stop at a gas station before we get to dinner. I didn't know what to think she possibly needed. Okay, no problem. We pulled in and she immediately looked at me and told me I was responsible to buy her cigarettes because I was a man and this is how men should treat her. I went inside the gas station, pretended I forgot what kind of cig she wanted, asked her to come inside the gas station as soon and as she got to the counter... I told her I forgot my wallet and went to my car and drove off. Lol. All this happened within the matter of maybe seven, ten minutes. Story 23. My shortest was an hour. I was living in South Korea and was doing some side work on a university forum. This woman reached out to me and struck up a conversation. She asked if we would like to meet. I was pretty busy but said I could in a few weeks and we exchanged information. We ended up linking up on social media and I got to see a few pictures of her. We kept talking here and there and she flat out asked me out. I was single at the time, but I was still busy. I ended up setting up a date with her two weeks. I go to meet her, and she looked nothing like her pictures, and she spoke almost no English. My Korean was okay, but she was having these conversations with me online in English via a translator and a friend of hers. It was so awkward. 
I ended up making up an excuse to leave after an hour. I ended up running into her a few weeks later at this local bar. My Korean friend recognized her and said I dodged a bullet because she was a known, as he put it, white chaser. She would prowl the bars where foreigners to the sky out and try to go home with them. Story 24. I waited for a date at a place we agreed. She was 45 minutes late, so I decided that she was wasting my time and didn't have the decency to even text me to tell me she was running late. I'm super punctual and respect other people's time. If I can't be somewhere when I agreed to be there, I make sure to let them know. As I was walking out the front door, she was walking in. She asked where I'm going, and I said, You were almost an hour late. Sorry. Have a good night. So if you don't count the time I waited, it lasted about 18 seconds. Story 25. I had asked her out to dinner. Within a minute of getting in the car, she told me this wasn't a date. I said I asked you out to dinner, and you said yes, so what is this? She said she just wants to be friends. I said, It's weird how you're already defining what the relationship is, and we're not even five minutes into our date. She said, we don't have to do this if you don't want to. I said, you're right, and turned the car around and dropped her off home. Story 26. Talking with this girl and she randomly said she was at the mall in my hometown, looking for an outfit for an event that night. She jokingly asked if I could meet her there to help out, since she wasn't confident in what to wear. So I agreed, thought why not. Casual first meeting, walking around in a mall, plus getting to see her try on done cute clothes would be nice. Turned out to basically be a catfish. She was the same person, but used years-old photos of herself on her profile. Instantly had no attraction to her. It may sound poor, but if you're not attracted to them, might as well be fair about it, right? Plus, she was painfully socially awkward. So I continued through the mall, gave her a recommendation on a shirt. I actually thought about dipping out of there while she was in the changing room, but thought about how poor it would be when she got out to look for me and realize I left. Anyways, she bought an outfit and I told her my friends were meeting me for a movie, so she left. The whole thing was like half an hour as I was just pushing her through stores and trying to get out of there. Story 27. I've posted this anecdote, https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash askreddit slash comments slash 93 k and yum wq slash single underscore men underscore of underscore reddit underscore what underscore made underscore you underscore Definitely underscore not underscore want underscore. A underscore second underscore date underscore with underscore. A slash E three F two Y Z V slash question mark context equal sign three. Elsewhere. HTTPS colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash ask reddit slash comments slash nine six G one one O slash men underscore of underscore reddit. Underscore what underscore was underscore the underscore moment underscore that underscore instantly underscore made underscore you underscore lose underscore your underscore crush underscore o slash e41 nt1 y slash question mark context equal sign three when she thought no one was looking she stuck a finger in her ear worked out a nice large chunk of earwax and ate it date lasted around 15 minutes i made some excuse and got the hell out of dodge story 28 i went to meet a girl at a coffee shop I got there a little early, I had never been, and this was before Google Maps, and ordered a drink. She came in, waved, and got a coffee. We sat there and had a couple sentences between us when she looked at me funny, like she wondered what I was doing. I asked if there was something wrong with a kind of smile on my face. I smile when nervous. It rarely works in my favor. She said, oh, it was 3.50. I looked at her confused now. For the coffee, she continued. I asked her if she wanted money for the drink. She said yes. I said no. There was a silence. Then I honestly laughed and she grabbed her purse and left in a little huff. Still one of the best dates of my life. Story 29. We were walking to the cinema and she kept stopping to look in shop windows and heavily hint that she wanted me to buy her things. Realized that she was going to be one of those girls that expects the guy to pay for everything. Which I have no problem with. It's just so unattractive when they make it so obvious. I was 21 and doing pretty well financially, but she was doing asterisk much asterisk better than me and had a nice flat in a good area of London, which I was jealous of considering she was a couple years younger than me. My phone made a notification sound, so I pretended I had a family emergency and left her before we got to the cinema. Story 30. This is going to make sound like a bit of an unpleasant person, but whatever. Talking with this girl for like two days, texting each other, etc., and we finally agree to meet. In person, she is like three times fatter than her photos, and not nearly as attractive as it seemed in her pics. She drove all the way to my hotel where I was staying to see me. 
The moment I saw her, I told her I actually don't feel that well and I'm canceling, sorry. She looked bummed out and left. Asterisk, asterisk date lasted 30 seconds. Story 31. Oh, oh, I can answer this. Two weeks ago. Met through a mutual friend. Hit it off at an event. Exchange numbers, started talking. 29, gorgeous, smart, my type. I'm older by nine years, have a 16-year-old daughter. Done having and raising young kids. Let her know this. She said she didn't want any children. Didn't have any. Make the date, ten minutes into dinner. She tells me she has four young kids. Nope. Said goodnight and left. Story 32. IDK if it was the shortest, but it had the least interaction. Before dating apps, before smartphones, I, male, somehow managed to make contact with a girl on this new technology called Internet and set up a date. I drove my car to her house. When she came outside, I realized she was unattractive. She had sent me an old picture. I am disappoint. I took her to watch a movie. I am tired because work and other tiring things, so I slept through the entire movie. I'm not good company. She's disappoint. We leave, I drop her at her house, and we never talked again, T. Elder. Only time ever I took a nap, and when I woke up, a problem had solved itself. Story 33. Back in high school, I went on a 45-minute date with a girl I'd been trying to date. We went to a dance. When we started dancing, another guy joined in, trying to start a dance-off. My date started dancing with the other guy, so I went to get some punch. Let the kids have their fun. She jogs over to me and tries to get me to go back over and dance. She says, hey, where are you going? Aren't you going to, you know, going to go back over there and win me? I told her to go back and dance as I went to pee. Instead, I left the dance and walked home, content to let her manipulate any guy other than me into dance-offs, face-offs, or pistols at 30 paces. Story 34. It lasted about 10 minutes. We met for drinks after finding each other on a dating app. He was from North Carolina, and it was right after the Charleston church shooting. So I asked how he was feeling about everything that was going on. He basically said people have it coming, are inferior, and genetically prone to become criminals. I couldn't believe my ears, said I was sorry, but I didn't date racists and walked out. As I was leaving, he said he wasn't. One of his best friends is. Story 35. Went on a date with this one guy a few months ago that was introduced by a mutual friend. He made very little eye contact during the date, so I just assumed he was nervous or something. Ended up excusing himself to use the restroom about ten minutes in, and when he came back we started talking about the weekend. This was on a Monday. He went to unlock his phone to show me a picture that he had taken only to have it open up to the grinder boy dating, hookup app which he was on in the bathroom. I laughed it off in the moment, but in my mind I kept telling myself, you really couldn't wait till after the dinner? Then he kind of shut down on me when I asked him questions. After so it made the date really awkward only to have him excuse himself again and leave. Total time, 15 men's. Story 36. I think I posted this before, but love this story so much. Went on an occupied date with this girl to a Bright Eyes concert. We're both getting into the music, flirting with each other, just really vibing. Things were looking good. At one point, she mentions that she's a vegetarian. This will become important later. On the drive home, we're chatting and basically making plans to hang out again in the near future. I'm looking over at her when all of a sudden her eyes go wide and she yells, Watch out! I look back into the road just in time to see a giant possum run in front of the car and I had no time to slow down or swerve, and you can guess what happened next. The car got pretty quiet after that, and needless to say, there was no second date. Story 37. Asked this girl out in high school and met her at this small town festival thing. It was about 45 minutes away she was from that town. I rode there with some friends, and one of the passenger had some Everclear. I'd never had Everclear. After that night, I'll never have Everclear again. I managed to find her, but she could tell I was wasted and ditched me after about a minute. I remembered a little bit and bringing up flipping in a porta potty wasn't my finest moment. Story 38. Chatted with a guy online, decided to meet for a coffee date. Met at a coffee shop and then talked while walking over to a park. Walked in the park for a bit, then stopped at bench. I sit, look up and pat the seat beside me for him to sit down. He has this look of terror on his face, and I realize then that things are not going well. He then looks at the time and says, Oh, sorry, I have to meet a friend in 20 minutes. I better go. I am thinking to myself, this guy must be super organized planner to set up a coffee date and then a meeting with friend after. After I get home, I find out the guy blocked me to make sure I could never ever contact him again. I've never had that kind of bad reaction before. So this is why this date sticks out in my mind years later. No idea what I did wrong. I guess this is just the sort of awkward situations that happen when you end up not being into someone after chatting with them and meeting in person. Story 39 it was a girl I randomly met while cleaning my motorbike in the parking lot of a place I was renting. 
I caught the girl's attention because she said she saw me with the motorbike when she was leaving, for some chores. And I was still at it two HRS later. I was giving my bike a wax coat. And it was hard to miss. She mentioned she had a motorbike, too, and we could do an early morning ride together sometime in the weekend. I had recently moved in the area and so agreed immediately. Fast forward to the weekend. To begin with, she showed up 30 mins late for the ride at the starting point. Critical, because we missed the sunrise later on. During our conversation, she was all about herself and couldn't stop bragging about how every guy in her life was chasing her seeking attention. Later, she said she would let me buy her breakfast since I'd been nice company. Already annoyed over the missed sunrise and her constant self-praise, I told her that I had other plans for the day and to make up for the lost time, I will skip breakfast. She said she didn't carry any money on her as she was so sure I would buy her breakfast and that I was so not gentleman. The situation was beyond my belief. I just got up from the place we were sitting, up a small hill viewpoint, went to my bike and returned home. I did bump into her a few times in the parking lot, but no words have ever been alone since that day. We were up that hill for about 30 mines. I'm a very patient person. Story 40. I had a date with this girl I knew from college. I believe I was 16 at the time, and I was really tired because I played a volleyball match earlier. So the plan was to take her home, watch a movie together, and just enjoy each other company. The movie was the slow-paced masterpiece, Perfume, the story of a murderer. We get home, I put on the movie, and we were laying on the couch. The next thing I remember is her waking me up at 1 p.m., and she asked if I could bring her home. So I did. It was a really silent drive to her place. Never really talked to her again, and never had a second date after that. Was a good sleep, though. Seven tenths would do it again. Story 41. It was set up by a friend, and we had never met or even talked before. An instant feeling of mutual uncomfortableness to the sky in the air, and the shared dislike of each other was electric. There was an out-to-go hang with a group of our mutual friends, which we did within a few minutes. Later, we'd go on to snap each other selfies where we'd imitate each other's expressions, which was fun, but also weird. Story 42. About an hour. I picked her up, and about halfway to town, I noticed she had some mostly hidden meth mouth and was obnoxious to boot. So I pulled into the first fast food joint I could find, which was Rally's, and grabbed burgers on the outside tables and texted my friend underneath the table. Five minutes later, she calls. I make up a non-emergency, but still date-ending story about my kids. I was hungry and didn't want to have to stop eating. We finish eating, and I take her home. Blocked her number and blocked her Facebook, which is how I met her. At least the rallies was good, I guess. LOL. Story 43. Shortest was a date I arranged by accident and never meant to make. We knew each other from being in the same smallish department, and this is as seniors in undergrad. One of the classes we were currently sharing consisted of just the two of us in a professor's office once a week as a seminar self-study thing. So we knew each other well enough at this point. Got along, colleague level. So near year's end, I had asterisk, all asterisk my plans fall through one weekend in uni from the three and a half disconnected circles of friends I ran with. So I called up this classmate and asked if she wanted to hang out or do something and thought nothing of it. Now maybe 85% of my friends are women at this point, and we to the sky out and did normal friend stuff all the time, for years, and all my lasting friendships are with women. So I didn't appreciate at the time how this could have sounded over the phone, but a date never even crossed my mind. I thought we were bros like everyone else. She turns up at the flat dressed to the nines. I don't think I'd so much as spoken to someone wearing heels and makeup in the last three years who was under 40. So I've immediately got a face full of confusion, which was probably mutual since I'm there in whatever's a step up from pajamas. We talked awkwardly for a bit, and she ducks out. And I asterisk still asterisk don't get that she thought it was a date until an hour later when we explain ourselves at a distance, and she's upset. We got over it when she invited me to a party at her apartment, but it was a flipping awkward month until then. Sorry, dude. Story 44. Oh no, I'm late to the party, but anyways. I'm chatting with this girl who works night shift. She told me that she'll be having a coffee break, 10 minutes, at 2 a.m. and told me to come, maybe. Me being mesmerized by her godlike beauty drives my stupid peach to her office, which took an hour. Yes, an hour, just to see her. I brought her coffee. We just sat and talked in the lobby of the building. Then she got back to work after 10 minutes. I honestly enjoyed that little time with her as she appreciates my presence, or just the free coffee, or my stupidity driving there, and still gave me lovesick as I drive my way back to home. Story 45. 30 minutes. More of a date than a booty called. I mentioned it in the comments, but whatever, here we go. We talked for two months over Snap, met on Tinder. 
IDK what magic women use to take 90 pounds off themselves in full body pictures. Looking back, she was always standing sideways. Her peach looked so big, HM, I wonder why. But this girl was shaped like a bowling ball. I am a skinny, skinny boy. She came in and we started making out because I hate myself more than I thought I did. She got on top and crushed my twink pelvis. Rode me two times and I said, wow, I think I'm too drunk. We should probably wait, actually. I'm tired. Could we pick this up tomorrow? This is a poor thing to do, I know. But fudge, she was asterisk hurting me, dude. Story 46. I meet him at a hookah bar. I'm really not into hookah at all. He immediately introduces me to his friends and one guy I recognized from a birthday party six months prior. The friend was basically being double-crossed by a girl my friend had an off-and-on-again thing with. She was dumb and invited both of them to her birthday party. There was almost a fight, but my friend realized the situation and left. So I'm like, oh, hi, I remember you from that party. He goes, oh, yeah, you're friends with that banana. I thought that was a bit unnecessary, so I said, yeah, but that banana messed up Rebecca like three times right before the party. His face contorted with anguish. He stormed off to a group of girls and started pointing me out. He was basically trying to sick them on me. My date is apologizing and saying he didn't even like his friend. I left. I was there less than five minutes for sure. Story 47. I was stood up one time. Was supposed to go to mini golf with a girl and she never showed. I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. So I waited around for like 15, 30 minutes, called, and texted. After getting no response and knowing that she wasn't going to show, I went to five guys for the first time. So the night wasn't a total loss. One time I had been texting with a girl from AFF and drove an hour and a half to meet her. I pulled up to her place and she told me where to park. But because she looked really gross and the neighborhood didn't seem safe, I decided to keep driving home. I made up some excuse why I couldn't go through with it, which I'm sure she didn't believe. And I got a few angry calls and texts that I didn't answer as I made that trip home. I felt bad for standing a girl up like that, but I just couldn't go through with it and knew I'd be miserable if I had stayed. The best part of the night was listening to the Chip Chipperson podcast and Spittin' Chicklets podcast during the three-hour drive.